Hey everybody, it's ALB, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review for Lux Addiction. Now, Lux Addiction is a website that does custom bedazzled slash deco phone cases for basically almost every type of phone as far as I can see. They contacted me back in December and were like, hey, do you want to try one of our cases for free? And I was like, I sure would. Because I just got a new phone back in December and I didn't have a case for it. I really like deco cases so I was like sure. Now the cool thing about this site is that basically they make whatever design you want from the selection they have on the website for the phone that you have provided that it's like listed in the cases they can make. You basically just pick whatever style you want and then they make it for your phone. So this is the style that I ended up picking. It has a big bow in the middle and as you can see it's just covered in rhinestones, which I'm very into. I waited a long time, I mean it's like basically June now, and I got this in, like I said, December, but I really wanted to like give this a fair go. I really wanted to see how it holds up, because sure, you can get anything out of the box and be like, oh that's really pretty, but like for something like this, I want to give you guys like how it lasts over time. You know what I mean? It's a phone case. It needs to hold up. It needs to do its job. So I wanted to put it to the test. Now I'm not particularly hard on my phone. In fact, I've never dropped my phone. And I mention that because my old phone, I used to drop it all the time. <laughs> Maybe me falling asleep on it would be the hardest thing that it has to go through. So this is not a rough and tumble kind of situation for this case. It arrived in this box, a little white one. And I'm going to open it up. This little plastic sleeve is what it came inside of. And it also came with this little flyer with other designs for the website. And lots of packing, obviously. It also came with a little bag that had about six to nine extra rhinestones so that when they fall off, because that's just how it is with rhinestone cases, eventually some will fall off, you can replace them, which I thought was great except for I lost the little bag almost immediately, and I have no idea how that happened. I have nothing to say in my defense. There was like a fairly odd parent situation, and it just poof. Now, I consider myself to be kind of an expert on rhinestone phone cases. I've had them for basically every electronic device I've ever had, except for like my computers. For example, this was my very first iPod. This is an iPod. Pod Touch, which was what I had next. Another rhinestone case. I mean, if you know me, you will not be surprised by any of this. This was my last phone. Now you can see this guy has been through somewhere. This is a Blackberry Curve if you're interested. It's a terrible phone. Basically, like all of the rhinestones were off on the sides and stuff. Now I had this for a couple of years, but this thing is in bad shape. But I just wanted to show you that like it's just what happens with rhinestone cases. Now this one I've had for, like I said, about six months, and there there have been quite a few rhinestones that have come off, like as you can see on the corner here, it's come off, um, some here, here, and on this bottom one too. Ooh. Yeah. So like... It's not that bad. I mean, as you can see, the majority of them are still on there, but some of them have fallen off. Ooh, there's Sailor Moon. <laughs> so these cases run on average about, on their website, 50 to $60. To me, that's a lot of money for a case. But I would have to say, if you are someone who really, really wants a deco case with lots of rhinestones and sparklies, I think it is good quality for what you're getting. Again, I've had a lot of rhinestone cases. Most of them have, the rhinestones have fallen off a lot more than this one. And I mean, yeah, I could probably just get rhinestones and fix this, but I haven't because I just don't care that much. So what I would say is, to me, for a case in general, like $60 is a little bit much. It's a little bit more than I would personally be spending. But again, if you want a deco case, 
in my opinion these are probably some of the best out there especially compared to ones I've had previously so I guess you just have to decide if like the cost is worth it for you but other than that like I love the design I get compliments on this wherever I go I'm a sucker for cute stuff so anyway that's just my short and quick review I like it it's cute if it's worth the money that's up to you but if you really want a rhinestone case it's probably one of the best brands in the market for what it is so Thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you soon. Bye!